I can't tell you how much I loved you. The way you felt against my body, the way you hugged me and brightened up my face, the way you flowed and floated, the way I felt when we were as one. I'm not ready to say goodbye. I know how good we were together. I appreciate every day we had, and I know <laughs> I'll remember you until the end of time. Three years ago, after my seven-hour surgery at Memorial Sloan Kettering to remove a grapefruit-sized liposarcoma from my abdomen, I came home from the hospital for a week to a surprise. My next-door neighbor had left me a gift, a little orange bag with a blouse from Roberta Roller Rabbit. The blouse was lovely, light and breezy, and I went online to see what else I could order from this company. One dress immediately caught my eye. And even though it was unlike anything I had ever owned, I knew I had to get it. <laughs> I never order clothes online, I'm too picky. I want to try everything on, and I never know my size. But I, <laughs> in my situation, I certainly wasn't going shopping, so I decided to give it a try. From the minute I put it on, I knew this dress was perfect for me. The color, the pattern, the cut, it made me smile. And was more flattering than anything I'd ever owned. When I ventured out of the house with my cane and halting steps forward, this dress made me feel better. Like I wasn't an invalid, just someone recovering. I ordered two other dresses from the company trying to recapture my love, and they were both great. But for various reasons, they didn't come close to what this dress had been for me. It was my favorite piece of summer clothing. I wore it to the beach, on vacations, and as soon as the weather got hot and really sticky in New York City, this was my go-to outfit. I wore it to numerous summer parties, picnics, and events. It didn't embarrass me that everyone recognized it. I loved it, and I loved others loving it and happily told people where it was from and how happy it always made me feel to wear it. When my son's fourth grade class picnic turned out to be one of those blazing, hot, humid days, I knew I had to wear my dress. I remember how many people told me they wished they had a dress just like mine for steamy summer days in the city. Last year, I stayed with my friends at their country house after the rest of the family decided to go home. I packed only a bathing suit, a cover-up, a couple of pairs of underwear, deodorant, toothbrush, and my dress. I noticed on the train ride back to the city how very soft the material had gotten over the years and how many of the seams were starting to wear and that it had certainly seen better days. This dress got me through the hardest days of, and weeks of my life. It helped me recover reminding me of the joy and the fun of the happiest of times. It gave me back my confidence and carried me through challenging, painful experiences. I even remember wearing it to the hospital once or twice when I knew <laughs> I needed a boost since I was in such a mess and in tremendous pain. After my weekend away, I thought it odd that my dress seemed to be slipping from my shoulders. I realized that the material had in fact frayed beyond repair and just from sheer overuse had worn and split between my shoulder blades. I woke up this morning realizing that I had to write a love letter to my dress, to the people who made this beautiful piece of work, to the people who made the material, the gorgeous, comfortable material, the design that so lovingly helped restore my body. I am so grateful. I'm not ready to say gu goodbye to it, although I think it's probably well beyond repair. 
I appreciate the love and attention that went into creating this dress, this gift that served me so well for the past three years. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Sincerely, Josie.